Hello and welcome to episode 19 of Let's Play Planet Coaster Project Globe Explorer here on Theme Park Worldwide. As you can see by the title in this video, I'm going to be building a GCI wooden roller coaster. Now, I'm not actually here on my own today. I've got a special guest with me. Can you guess who it is from this voice? Liberty! Liberty! Liberty. It's Charlotte. How are yeah, you doing? I'm good. Thank you very much. Here we go. So we're on here today. We're going to be talking about some of our favorite wooden roller coasters in this episode, as, of course, I'm building a wooden coaster. Uh, but I just want to say a big thank you to over 25,000 of you that joined us in the previous episode and came to visit Atlas Adventure Resort in our little promotional video that we did all around the park and seeing the different areas. And there was audio in there. There was voiceovers. Of course, Charlotte did a few nice I voiceovers did. for me. What did you do now? You did Liberty. You did a countdown for the drop tower and I did the New York you song. did a little New York New yeah. York didn't you as well for us but so if you've not seen it definitely go and check it out uh, it's like a promotional video going through all the different countries that we've built so far it is where we are there at the moment as you can see I've just built a lift hill there on this wooden roller coaster we'll bank him round to the right at the moment there uh, and you might be thinking what's this area going to be themed to uh, well I'm gonna reveal that for you now this is actually gonna be an area all themed around Africa so you might be thinking hang on a minute how's it all going to come together but of course you've seen what I've done with the other areas so far it takes time you've got to build up the layers um, with these projects but Africa what do you think about that that's coming yeah, in I think it'll be a really good area you can get some really good theming with an African area yeah I mean my kind of sort of idea is a bit like you know Black Mamba at Fantasyland yeah. that sort of idea but with a wooden coaster there instead of a B&M invert. So we'll have lots of like little buildings, like a little sort of Harambe village. Also, like the Africa area at Animal Kingdom as well. Yeah. Um, that sort of idea around by Kilimanjaro Safaris, all that sort of style, building style, and maybe like a little market area, like marketplace, lots of different food outlets, and a lot of smaller sort of paths that lead off into uh, little areas and stuff as well. So um, that's the plan with this one. So as you can see there, uh, we've got the coaster uh, testing as I'm building it, just so we know the speeds. And this has been sped up a little bit, but I thought I'm going to slow it down a little bit more as well, mainly because Charlotte's on, so we can have more of a chat about wooden roller coasters and some of our favourites. But um, as you can see here, I'm just going up now into a, uh, an element of banking. So we go down that uh, first drop, uh, and then I want to bank round to the right. Um, and I couldn't quite make my mind up here when I was building it, exactly what I wanted to do, to be honest. Um, I was sort of taking it up there, and I thought, do I want it to be a full bank and then we go back down to the right, sort of like where I am now? Or do I want to sort of cut it off there and then we go into another drop and back under the coaster? And that's what I do decide to do. And you'll see that in the next couple of minutes. Uh, but anyway, as I'm carrying on with this, wooden roller coasters. Charlotte, what, what's some of your favourite woodies out there? So I absolutely love Woden at Europa Park. Oh. I love Wicker Man, Megaphobia. There's just so many good wooden coasters out there and there's so many more that I've yet to experience. Experience. Yeah, there is some great rides. Yeah. I mean, Megaphobia, it, it is my favourite uh, UK wooden roller coaster. I do really enjoy Megaphobia. Um, I just think it, it's that right sort of balance between a traditional wooden roller coaster, but it's also got some very modern elements in there as well uh, that I do really enjoy. Uh, what about Wicker Man then? What are your thoughts on Wicker Man? I absolutely love Wicker Man. I love the theme. I just love the whole experience. It's just the whole package that makes that ride so good. Yeah, it is definitely all the fire effects. Of course, Big Bob himself, the Brilliant. Wicker Man structure. Um, thinking about on this, actually, on this wooden coast that we're building here, uh, putting in like a large sort of theming structure, um, or maybe a few theming structures that actually, you know, the track actually goes through it. Um, because I've, I've not really done that on any of the other rides yet in this park. We've got some great big coasters. Uh, of course, we've got the, the double launch coaster, you know, which is fantastic. And it's got a lot of close interactions. It does go through a building. But I'm thinking with this, let's go for like a, a couple of big theming structures and of course I'll be working on those in the uh, next episode. Uh, as you can see now a little bit of an airtime hill, bit of speed as we make our way down towards the lake uh, probably have a nice water effect on there actually, like a bit of a water splash we've already utilised that effect quite a bit uh, inside Atlas Adventure Resort. Um, but yeah, the plan is to probably do that again to be honest uh, with how good it looks with all the water that we've got in the park. 
As you can see there, we're just sort of uh, making sure it turns around there next to the uh, train track. There is actually going to be a train station in the Africa themed area of the park as well. Uh, and of course, I'm going to have to uh, add that train station in um, a little bit later on. So I'll make sure uh, that I do leave space for that as I'm building the uh, wooden coaster. Uh, going on to some other great woodies out there in the world. I mean, one that really sort of shines through to me is something that I probably enjoyed a lot more before its refurbishment. Um, however, it's still absolutely fantastic now is Colossus Kampf de Gegenten there we go I'm trying to say it right basically Colossus I think it's like Battle of the Giants it uh it, it translates to, and that's at Heide Park in Germany. Um, you've not been on that though, have you, Charlotte? No, maybe one day I'll get the opportunity to go on it. Yeah, like a lot of people have sort of compared it to, to Wicker Man, you know, with that big theme in structure. As much as it's a lot bigger, um, it's not as impressive, actually, the, the theme in structure. Just uh, nip in there to the carriage. You can see I'm trying to do a nice little fly over there now, over that first drop. Create a really nice near miss element. So you come down that first drop, really feel like, you know, if you've got your arms up, that you're going to hit the, uh, the, the wooden supports that are holding up that track. And of course, keep checking the sight lines there as well from the other areas, just over in Spain there, looking across. Um, but yeah, Colossus, you know, it's a great ride, but I do think that, you know, when I first went on it back in 2014, I enjoyed it a lot more than I did after the refurbishment. It's been retracked, and it's probably just a little bit too smooth now. I think that's my issue with it. You know, it's a little bit too smooth, whereas before it just had the right balance. Of course, it's an intimate wooden coaster, um, you know, and, and yeah, it, it did need a retract um, due to, you know, the maintenance that had been done on it. You know, it, it needed some work doing. However, you know, maybe they've done a little bit too much with it. But uh, yeah, that's the, the good thing about like your Blackpool wooden coasters and stuff. I mean, that's going to the other end of the extreme, isn't it? I mean, what, what do you think? to like your Blackpool wood is. See, they're just so traditional though, aren't they? Even though sometimes they can be a bit rough, they're still your traditional woodies and they're just so good. Yeah, that's the thing. I mean, like the Grand National at uh, Blackpool Pleasure Beach is a fantastic layout, isn't it? Yeah. Um, you know, really good fun, especially if you're sitting on uh, the side where you can interact with the others and do the high fives and stuff around the ride. You know, it's all good fun. It's stuff that people have been doing for years. Going back to the video here, of course, you can see uh, the train station is now in place. Just trying to make sure that that goes underneath the coaster. We can do some nice theming and interaction, like an African-style uh, train station. We'll, we'll turn that into and put some theming all around there as well. At this point here, I didn't really know where the layout was going, to be honest. Like, as you can see, I'm kind of just going over the top of the track there. Then I think, actually... That there's not much point in doing that so I start to turn it back around to the right now as you'll see in a second I just sort of start to lower that back down banking it down towards the ground uh, and then start to return it down towards the lake again um, just to get some more out of it um, I thought you know I didn't want to do a massive wooden coaster in terms of the height um, with this one it's not that tall at all really because uh, I didn't want it to ruin the sight lines of some of the other areas uh, but I did think when I was building this of course we've got the New York area over in New York, you've got the, the Cyclone wooden coaster, you know, one of the most iconic coasters in the world. And I rode it last year for the first time, loved it. So I thought, really, to play in with the story, as much as this coaster is in the Africa area, you're going to see it from over in New York. You can kind of pass it off and say that it's the Cyclone. So that was my kind of thinking with this one. Um, so, yeah, it isn't going to be staying white, though, like it is at the moment. So I do uh, change the colour scheme shortly. Oh, it's a nice bit of air time going in there. What do you think of that, Charlotte? Oh, that looks good, though. Oh, yeah, nice bit of a jet to get yeah. your arms in the air. That's Woo! what we want. Love it. Liberty! Liberty! Oh, oh wait, that's, that's the wrong area. Oh, no. But, uh, yeah, any other big wooden coasts out there what we can talk about? I mean, there's some fantastic ones in the UK. Um, you know, like Troy is, is at uh, yeah, Toverland. Troy's really good. I really like that. I mean, I think when, when we first went on it, am I right in thinking you wasn't a big, big fan? I wasn't a big fan. I think it's because I found it a little bit intense. But then when we went back last year... I had a few night rides and it was fun, absolutely fantastic. Oh, it was brilliant, wasn't it? Like yeah. them night rides we had on Troy. That's another GCI wooden coaster so at Toverland in the Netherlands. Big shout out to all the Dutch watching. I know there's a lot of you out there and they enjoy watching. Um, but yeah, so, you know, Troy's a fantastic ride and it's not so much got loads of theming around it, has right. it? But. You know, it, it, it's got that huge horse, of course, at the, at the entrance of the queue line. And when they sort of reimagined the queue a couple of years back, it's been a lot better since then. But, uh, you know, Toverland's a part that I absolutely love, and Troy is certainly uh, a very signature wooden coaster. 
Of course, we've got some real classic uh, wooden coasters as well. You've got to think of like the Scenic Railway down at Dreamland Margate that has, has got the onboard brakeman on there. Uh, that's another classic. Along with that, uh, the roller coaster at Great Yarmouth. You've not actually been on that. No, I've not been on it yet. No, ho- I mean, hopefully we're going to, you know, get Charlotte up there this year. I'd yeah. like to take it to Great Yarmouth, but let's just see what happens with everything at the moment. But uh, yeah, hopefully we'll be able to get up to Great Yarmouth later in the year, um, you know, to, to get Charlotte on that because that's a really good coaster. It's, you know, it's kind of like the Scenic Railway, but it's a lot taller, a lot bigger ride, uh, and it's really good fun, you know, right next to the beach. Of course, when you're on the Scenic um, down at Dreamlands, you, you are next to the coast, but you've got all buildings there blocking yeah. it in, haven't you? You know, you've got like a big tower block of flats and stuff. It's not quite the same as when you're right next to the beach going on there, the onboard brakeman. Uh, it certainly all does really make it. Uh, as you can see, then doing a little turnaround section here, a bit of a helix, helix. Um, the, we've got a little double down there as well. I thought that would be quite a nice effect. We'll do the double down towards the lake, bank it round to the right. Uh, and then, of course, we're going to have a little pop of airtime as we go up into the brake run. Uh, the coaster's still got quite a bit of speed. Like I say, that is still sped up there. You'll see in just a couple of minutes when I show you a POV, uh, the actual speed that it's going to go, of course. It is still sped up a little bit here. Um, but, yeah, you sort of get an idea for it, and I'll take you on for a run shortly uh, after we put in some of the paths and also a little bit of the landscaping around here as well so you know me, I'm not the best coaster builder out there. You know, I'm the first person to say that. I'm more about the overall package, the overall theming and experience. And it's about turning that pretty boring piece of land that was in between the New York and the Spanish themed areas and turning it into Africa and making it look like this African sort of village. So that's what I'm starting with now with some of the paths that we can see here, expanding it all out. Like I say, it's not just going to be one main path through the area. Um, like some of the others that we've built, there's going to be multiple different paths. There'll probably be more than this as well i want some really sort of cute little walkways you know that you can get lost in uh because that's what i like in a in a real theme park all that sort of stuff uh, but yeah paths are going in what, what do you think to the wooden coaster then charlotte yeah i'd love to go on that well you're gonna get to ride it in a minute yes. uh, along with all the viewers virtually ride it anyway uh we'll see how it goes like I say it's, it's nothing spectacular in terms of the size you know it's a, a moderate wooden coaster i'd say it's not like it's a little bit bigger than your likes of nickelodeon streak and stuff at blackpool but, you know, we're not going on to the likes of Woden at, at Europa Park. You know, we're not sort of going with that level. Of course, something that I do love doing with these areas is trying to block them in the best I can uh, and doing what Disney do, and that's building a berm. So, uh, which is putting in this... A, a berm is basically a, a man-made hill that goes around a park or an area just to, to block things in so you don't see it as much from ground level. So that's what I'm starting to work on here, uh, putting that berm in all on the side there and um, just so you know when you're on this wooden coaster we can put some plantings and buildings on there uh, and you don't really notice that you've got you know all the new york skyscrapers next to you of course you're still going to see them a little bit but you've got to think when you're down at ground level or sat in the coaster train on board them beautiful millennium flyers um you know you won't look out out as much over to over the water there and over to new york so trying to build the berm up there uh with the terrain i'm going to go for quite a hilly terrain with this one quite a lot of sand and stuff around as well just to give it that uh, sort of feel uh, anyway we'll, we'll rest our voices for a couple of minutes and we'll come back with you shortly where we'll take a ride on this GCI wooden roller coaster here at Atlas Adventure Resort
Right then, so as you've seen there over the last few minutes, been working on some more of the terrain around the roller coaster. We're back. Are you ready, Charlotte, to ride? Yes, I can't wait. <laughs> this is it. We're sat on the front row. I'm going to ride on the Millennium Flyers. Of course, that's what GCI call their trains like this. Uh, Millennium Flyer trains. Really nice, aren't they, GCI trains? Yeah, they're really spacious, really nice. You know what I really like? When they lock the lap bars, how they just like fall down onto yeah. your lap. Just very satisfying. Like Anybody can relate to that who's been on a GCI coaster. Um, um, you know, how, how they just lock down onto you, you know, I do really like that, it's so satisfying. Here we go, going off the top, reminds me of Woden a little bit at the start there actually, as we start uh, making our way off the top of the lift hill, bang to the right, and there we go, now it's nothing like Woden, and here we go, down the drop, Whee! Whee! arms in the air, oh she's actually lying here with her, uh, with her arms up now, bless her, here we go, oh, down we go, Whee! <laughs> underneath the coaster, there we go, quite smooth. Some typical GCI transitions on this as well, where it whacks you into the side a little bit. You know, you don't want all the corners to be banked too much. Here we go, quite low to the ground, thinking a couple of buildings and stuff around here. Start to put some of those in shortly. Here we go, making our way round, more airtime. Whee! Whee! Back over that first section of track. Bank round to the right, we'll have some water splashes and effects and stuff there. Nice view looking back towards the lift hill, isn't it? Last pop of airtime and up into the brake run. There we go, of course, slows the train down, keeps a little bit of speed there as it goes round. We'll probably have to slow them brakes down a little bit, but there we go. What do you think to that? Oh, I enjoyed that. <laughs> you like it? Yeah. It's actually quite a long coaster, actually. It's, you know, of course, it could have gone for a bit bigger, but like I said, I didn't want to sort of ruin the whole um, sort of look and feel of how this area is going to be. I think it needs to be quite low to the ground terrain. Anyway, this is where I need all of you guys. Yes, you who are watching. As always, we like to keep this series very interactive. So I need a name and an overall sort of theme because as you can see, I'm starting with some of the buildings here that are going to make my African sort of town, village, whatever you want to call it. But I need a name for the coaster. So get commenting below on this episode. Uh, and in the next video, in episode 20, can't believe it, 20 episodes of this series, uh, I'll reveal the name. So get commenting uh, and I'd love to know what you guys go with. Now, now, I don't want the name Gwazi because I know that, uh, of course, Bush Gardens, Tampa Bay, uh, you know, they've got like, a coaster that used to be called Gwazi. It's now going to reopen at some point as Iron Gwazi, um, you know, and, and that was a wooden coaster. It's now an RMC. Uh, so, yeah, I don't want the name Gwazi. Let's have something a bit different, but because uh, that had that sort of African style theme, didn't it? Um, but yeah, I think it's coming together really nicely. Going to start putting in some more uh, buildings all the way around it. Like I say, it's going to be a very immersive area. You know, it's me and Planet Coaster, it's going to be, isn't it? It's got to be full on lots of different buildings loads of different things to see and uh, and that's the plan for it but uh, yeah it's been nice to have you on Charlotte as well no problem nice yeah. to be here yeah coming in and doing a bit of Planet Coaster and, and you know as things progress over the coming weeks I'm sure you're probably going to be uh, coming on again yeah or hopefully you know we, we might even what about getting Charlotte to try and build something how, how do you think about that oh that would be good I don't know if I'd trust you in this part though no definitely <laughs> not might have to get you a nice sort of blank canvas and yeah. then like get a sandbox over Open. Uh, would you viewers like to see that coming down below? Do you want to see Charlotte build the coaster? And if so, what would you like to see her build? Ooh. I mean, what's your preference? What would you build like, out of anything? I'll build anything. Anything. But what would be your ultimate favourite if you, if you, you know, to build? Not quite. You're sure. not too sure. I'm not 100 percent sure to be honest. No. There's just so much choice. There is a lot of choice in this game because there's some rides as well that not many of them have been built. You know, things like single rail coasters and, and, and all that sort of stuff. You know, but uh, yeah, we'll definitely have to get Charlotte on building a coaster. You know, at some point in the future, we'll maybe open up a, a sandbox and do that. What do you think? Yes. Awesome. We'll give that a go. But um, yeah, it's been nice to sort of for you to see a little bit of what I do here with Planet Coaster as well. You know, sort of putting it all together. Uh, like I say. If you've not seen it already, over 25,000 of you have, but if you've not, go and check out the previous episode. It was a lot of time and effort went into that. All the voice recordings, the audio that we put in, um, you know, just the overall filming of it, you know, in game. It was like me going to an actual theme park and filming a video, to be honest. All that work that went into it. Uh, but I'm really glad that, um, you know, you guys are very supportive of our Planet Coaster content. Uh, and of course, you're going to be seeing a lot more of it coming up on the channel. I'll be carrying on with this park and maybe I'll start some more other sideline projects as well uh, probably a good time to sort of tell you now before we wrap up the video I'm looking at doing some more IP based rides of course I've done like a back to the future ride before Jaws the ride I'm looking at doing some more things like that uh, and now is probably the, a time to be looking at doing that with more Planet Coaster content coming out but there we go it's the end of the episode thank
thanks for coming on, Charlotte. No problem. And um, we'll get you on building something in the future. I'm Sean Sandbrook. Thanks for watching. And that means it's time to cue those credits. See you later.